And today I wanted to come out and just share a couple dreams with you. One is a warning dream and then the others are encouraging dreams. Um, and so basically, the first dream I want to share is the one I was given last night. And, and in this dream, I was at the top of a hill overlooking a city and I don't know what city it was but I saw the US military and they were bringing in defensive weapons and they were setting them up and it was as if they were preparing for war but I understood that they were preparing for war within the nation uh, that they were going they were locking down America and I understood that uh, being a Christian was uh, going to be very difficult for people if, if it was known that you were a Christian at this point in time. And the thing is, I, I see a lot of things unfolding and I know we are getting closer and closer to the time when the enemy is going to be taking more and more control of the of the earth the time where the tribulation will begin we're not there yet but we're getting there and as the body of Christ I want to emphasize that we do not need to fear these times we do not need to fear these events we need to watch all right we need to be aware of what's going on but Father God does not want us to be weighed down with this or to be fearful of this see because for us we know when we see these events unfolding, we understand that it's that much closer to the time when Jesus is going to begin his millennial reign on this earth and he is going to restore holiness and righteousness to the earth. So we should be celebrating and we know that we are going to be just like God made provisions for every one of his people throughout the history of mankind. It's no different for the church today. God is making a provision for us uh, where we will be taken out of this world before his wrath is released on the earth. So I just want to emphasize that, that when uh, you know I share the things the Lord is showing me that are coming or others share those things, uh, please remember that we are not to be fearful of these things. We are being hidden in the Lord, taken care of, protected. Uh, and when the time comes... All right, we will be removed. All right, so uh, on to the next dream. There's a, a man by the name of Benjamin who has sent me a few of his dreams, uh, private messaged me. And uh, this one particular dream I thought was really interesting. And I think it might encourage you. So in this dream, Benjamin had a magic coffee cup. And he said that he could go anywhere he wanted to uh, so he went back to like 1974 Christmas and spent time with his family his grandfather and he said he all he would have to do is wish to go to any time any place uh, any holiday and he could go uh, so after visiting I don't know three or four different uh, holidays in the past he said I decided oh I want to go to the future I want to go to Christmas of 2017 and he said when he said that he heard a voice say you can't the rapture has already taken place so I thought that was pretty interesting and then he shared with me another dream I believe it was his dream and uh, he was just given this dream last night the other dream he had in June but this one just last night he said his his dad came to him who he believed represented the father and told him we are within 30 days of the rapture so I don't know, but that's what he heard, and he was pretty excited about that. And I will tell you this. My brother shared with me uh, a months ago that he was given a dream where he saw the rapture taking place around Christmas. And so I don't know if it will be around Christmas. Um, I just, I, I believe we are seeing so many things unfold right now that point to that time that I... I think it could be very, very close. So as we watch, you know, the world just seems to go into, is going into this chaos and uh, the planet X and who knows how many planets are, are traveling with that planet uh, and what that's going to mean for the earth. As you see these things unfold, just remember as a Christian, as a born again believer, Jesus is taking care of us. He's keeping us hidden. And when that time comes before the flood, 
before the flood of chaos, before the flood of evil, we're going to be removed. We're going to be with him for the seven-year tribulation. Uh, we will be in heaven with the Lord. And we have that to look forward to. So keep that in mind and 